I'm at the house at 9514 Sun Mill in the Laurel Heights subdivision. I'm going to give you 360 the neighborhood here. This subdivision is off of 1604 and Chainfield. It becomes Gom Road. It's in a gated community. So you have easy access uh, off of 1604 to UTSA or USAA. Or going south, you can go to Lackland, 151 or Sea Road area. This subdivision has a community pool, a playground, and barbecue picnic area. I'm going to give you a look inside. This is a three bedroom, two full bath, single story home built in 2007. Got a porch area here. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to give you an idea of the layout here. This is a, again, three bedroom, two bath, single story. Uh, we got the living room, dining area to the right. Further down, we got the garage, and then the next uh, turn, we got two bedrooms, and then at the end of the, this long hallway, we got the master uh, bedroom and bathroom. Here we have uh, tile, ceramic tile entry, carpet. So you had living room, dining room combination. We got ceiling fans, 10 foot ceilings throughout the house, which makes it look a lot roomier, uh, feel a lot more roomier. Okay. Nice neutral colors throughout. So this would be your formal living area. This is a large, about 19 feet across, uh, 19 feet by four, 14 or 15 feet. And then this could be your formal dining area. Very good space here. We got uh, window coverings and all the, we got blinds on all the windows. Nice open floor plan here. We go to the kitchen area. We got tile, dual sinks, a microwave, flat top stove, and a tall ceilings which are really roomy. A refrigerator and pantry. You're gonna go to the right first. Here we have the uh, utility area, laundry room, washer dryer hookups, and then it leads out to the two car garage here. Good size two car garage. What I like about it is you have separate doors, uh, two garage door openers, so you don't have to figure out whether or not you park too far over or not. If you make it in the door, you should be lined up correctly. Now it's got the uh, electric water heater there. Let's go inside. Okay, let's look at another perspective here of the uh, kitchen area. Pretty good amount of cabinet space. Let's take a look since we're here. Look at the pantry. You gotta um, get your pantry area. And then here in the mid, about the mid, midway in the house is the entry point hallway to the secondary bedroom. So you got the uh, two bedrooms, the, the third, second and third bedroom split off in the masters for additional privacy. These are uh, pretty standard sized rooms, good size. Again, the, the, uh, the high ceilings really help uh, give it a roomy feeling. Then we have uh, double doors here to the closet area. And you got uh, an area above so you can put some extra storage or decorations up there too. Okay, this will be bedroom number three. In the same high ceilings throughout the house. And similarly, this one has the... This looks a little bit deeper than the previous uh, closet. It's actually quite a bit deeper than the original than the other closet. You, of course you have the shelf and you have that uh, area above. So now we come to the hallway bathroom. We've got tile floors, countertop, and then you have your tub and shower combination.
Then we'll head down further to the uh, masters. Here we got the masters area at the end of the uh, house. This one is very large. You could easily fit uh, configurations towards the window or towards the wall here. You could definitely fit a king size bed, uh, some big uh, dressers, nightstands, etc. This one has a nice ceiling fan here, make it cooler, lots of lighting. This area here, you could actually make it to a small office if you'd like or nursery. And then what's cool about this uh, Masters is we have not just one closet, but we have two. This is a smaller of the two closets. So you got some extra space there. And then we're gonna head over to the master's bathroom. We got double doors entry, tile. We got the dual sinks. Your commode. Again, this is very tall ceiling, so you're not gonna feel like too cramped in there. And then another good size, about five by six foot uh, second. This is your walk-in closet. So you got two closets in the master's bedroom. Got a nice garden tub. This is a very deep, uh, it looks deeper than the average garden tub that I've seen. So should be relaxing there. And then you also have your separate shower. And then uh, give you another view here. This is a huge uh, wide masters so you can Set it up however works best for you. We're gonna go out to the uh, covered patio in the backyard. The good thing about this area of town, you're, you're avoiding the heavy traffic on Calabro 1604 or Bandera 1604. This is in between those two uh, heavily trafficked streets. So you can get to this area um, with a lot less time of travel. We got a nice covered patio here, about uh, 10 feet by 12 feet. And what I really like about this house, in addition to the interior being really nice and, and uh, new looking or you know still in very good condition, uh, you got a decent sized yard here, not really huge, but what I like about it is you got that backyard that backs up to this field. And now with this field, we got uh, throughout the day, we'll see cows back here. Earlier today, I saw a horse uh, grazing. So you got lots of, uh, you know, appeal there if you have uh, kids or you just want to sit out on the porch and watch some cows munching on grass. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool to have that in uh, within about 10 or 15 minutes of the city. So you got uh, kind of a country feel out here in, in the uh, city of San Antonio. So this house again, Grady Community, Laura Heights, three bedroom, two bath, 1,476 square feet, 10 foot ceilings. Great location. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, you can call me. My name is Mark Fee. My cell phone number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.